Hello guys, welcome back to Daddy and the Don. This is our five best bets for the week six of the NFL this coming week. But before we get on to the selections, uh, we're going to recap last week. It was a disaster, unfortunately, zero out of five. Um, we're a little bit too confident with some of the picks. Um, in hindsight, looking back at it, um, definitely would have changed two of them. But the other three I was confident with. But, you know, you win some, you lose some. Um, I'm going to go for a guarantee this week. I'm going to go on I get three out of five. That's still always the target, and I'm going to hit it this week. Um, so overall for the season, seven out of 15, unfortunately, was seven out of 10 last week. Obviously, being the norm five, seven out of 15, uh, 46% strike rate, but I can assure you that'll be getting over 50% this week. So without further ado, let's go on to the week six picks. Remember, guys, please like and subscribe the video, um, and please comment down below if you like or dislike any of my picks, or if there's something else you'd like us to cover uh, for the NFL content this year, we'd happily get back to you. Um, but without further ado, let's get into this. At number five, sees the Minnesota Vikings traveling to Chicago Bears. So I'm recording on this Tuesday. We've had the bad news that Justin Jefferson is being moved to the IR, um, obviously missing guaranteed four weeks. Um, could be much more. Don't think Minnesota have got much to play with. This is Kirk Cousins last year. Um, I'd imagine with Minnesota, um, I think they could tank to try and get a decent call back. They're certainly, if they keep losing, they're not going to go and rush Jefferson back. There's no point. Um, Chicago, on the other hand, has come off a very impressive win against um, Washington away. Uh, it was finally good to see Justin Jefferson be released, uh, unleashed. Um, DJ Moore's fantastic as well. Man, man, the defense held up pretty well. Um, against obviously Sam Howell, like slinging the ball. I thought they did very well. They dominated the game in, in Washington. Maybe not the best team in the world, but you know, they're not in four Chicago. Go give them a lot of credit. Um, my bet for this one, I'm very surprised. Um, that Chicago are outsiders. Um, I'm going with the form at the moment. And in terms of Minnesota, I just don't like what I see. And I don't know if they're, um, if Addison, um, any of the other offensive weapons can uh, step up for, for Jefferson in his absence. Um, and with Chicago now hitting their form on offense, I think it's going to be a very, very long day for Minnesota. But uh, at the time of recording, uh, on the Tuesday, Chicago Bears are plus three at home. So my bet, number five, the Minnesota Vikings and the Chicago Bears Chicago Bears, plus three. Bet number four takes us to Cincinnati, who are hosting the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, Seattle just coming off a bye week. Um, impressive start to the season for them. Um, rejuvenated, fresh. There was obviously a couple of niggle, niggling injuries for their offense. Um, certainly got welcome that bye week. I think that's come out a good time for them. Again, they were on good form before they went into the bye week. So, um, fair play to the Seahawks. And I think, as you said, uh, well rested coming to this time. Cincinnati, on the other hand, finally, finally got to see a healthy Joe Burrow and what their offense can do. Finally, Jamar Chase showed up. Um, fantastic combination, them two. Absolutely dominated uh, Arizona. Um, Friday deserved their win. It was kind of good to see Joe Burrow moving around. He ran for a couple of uh, plays as well, which was nice to see. That, that absolute dart down the... Down the um, that a pitch to chase was, I think, a beauty right in the right in the hands. Um, looked awesome. Um, Arizona again, obviously not the best team, but you know, Joe Burrow hasn't been playing well, and he was a good good side to see for the Cincinnati fans. Um, both offenses now with Cincinnati coming back into form. I think this is going to be a high scoring game. Um, when I saw obviously the opening market, I was actually so surprised, but um, how low it was. Um, and he hasn't moved at all today. But um, the time recording, my bet number four is going to be the Seattle Seahawks for the Cincinnati Bengals over 45.5. I can see both teams at least hitting 27 each. Um, I think it'll be end to end. Um, loads of touchdowns, field goals. I just think 45.5 is a banker. So, yeah, bet number four, Seattle Seahawks, so the Cincinnati Bengals. Total game points, over 45.5. At number three takes us to the Miami Dolphins, who are hosting the Carolina Panthers. Um, Carolina, probably the worst team in the NFL. They've got a terrible head coach, Frank Reich. Um, Bryce Young has not been impressive. Granted, he is a rookie, but they look better with Dawn under centre. Obviously, the experience. Um, I presume this year, they're just going to be sort of a throwaway year where they're just going to let... Uh, Bryce Young getting into the getting to his strides, but he hasn't looked great. They haven't looked great on either side of the ball, to be honest. Um, 
yeah, they, they look terrible. I wouldn't imagine how many more games Frank Wright's going to last through on this. He, he doesn't know what he's doing. He can't call plays. He's just awful. They look really, really bad at the moment. Flip side, Miami, completely opposite. Great offense, defense showing up. Got a great head coach. The fun to watch. They're excited. They've got talent everywhere. Um, obviously, one moment of uh, thought, obviously, for Ajan, who's potentially being moved to IR. I've time recording on the Tuesday. He's going for a second option. It's going to be a, a loss. Obviously, they've got other weapons. got Mo Start too, Tyreek Hill, Jalen Waddle, and such. But um, I'll, to be fair, I'll, I'll probably take both markets in this one, the minus three and a half and the other 48 and a half. But I'm going to feel more safer to go with the total game points. Um, I believe the Carolina can can score 14 to 17 points, but we're looking at Miami, Lee scoring 30. They're going to be going down the field, scoring ease. Tyree Gill, Jalen Woodall, both score touchdowns. Um, yeah, I've, they just missed out on the over last week, so I'm going to go back from this week. So my bet number three is the Carolina Panthers and the Miami Dolphins at time recording on the Tuesday, total game points over 48.5. Bet number two, Texas Sunday Night Football, the New York Giants travelling to the Buffalo Bills. Giants fans, if you're listening, season's over. Do you agree? Uh, Daniel Jones' experiment, is it over? Um, what do you think of the head coach? What do you think of um, defensive guy Neil's comments we said last week? Um, I'm sure he ruffled up a few feathers in, in the camp. They're just a mess. They're an absolute mess at the moment. I gave them the benefit of doubt last week, ruffled their pay up some points and... Quite they had a chance to with Tyra Taylor, but obviously it'd have been garbage. It'd have been like a backdoor sneaking for the for the um for the cover, but unfortunately they didn't do that. Now they're travelling to the Buffalo Bills, who I want to say got embarrassed to the Jacksonville Jaguars, but played poorly. You go into Buffalo, they're gonna be peed off. <laughs> they're gonna be they're gonna be hunting. They're gonna be hunting. Gonna, this is a get right game for Buffalo. In Buffalo, prime time game. There's only one thing to do, and that is back the Buffalo Bills. So the time recording on the Tuesday, the market that I'm going for, the New York Giants and the Buffalo Bills, is the Buffalo Bills minus 14. Bet number one sees Dallas Cowboys travelling to the LA Chargers. Uh, my Cowboys, my inconsistent Cowboys. That press goes our quarterback. Mike McCarthy calling the plays. Yeah. I knew he was going to sort of thumped in that game. He was, we're pretenders, just absolutely pretenders. I'm, I'm, I wasn't in, I was just angry with that that performance here again. We just we could beat the small teams, come against big teams, get bullied. Unfortunately, we got bullied in that game. Didn't show anything. It just showed once again that Dak isn't our, isn't a, isn't our future. So, but we'll be playoff bound. We'll, we'll win more than we lose, and that's just what Dallas does. Um, and this is sort of that one of those games. Um, it should be entertaining fun. Uh, the Chargers just come off a bye week. Um, we feel fresh. They had a couple of injuries. Uh, I think Austin Eckler will be back this week. So that's going to be that's going to be a threat for, for them. It's going to be a problem for Dallas. Um, but I think this is probably one of the most exciting games of the week, if I'm honest. Um, I think it's going to be tired than what people expect. I wouldn't be surprised who either wins. Uh, if you know, as a Dallas fan, um, I'm going to be a little biased and we'll just sneak it. But I'm really interested in the total game points. Um, I think both offences are going to blossom in this game. I think both defences will leak. Um, and I just think it's going to be one for the neutral. They're going to be thoroughly enjoyed from start to finish. Um, so at the time recording, bet number one, uh, the Dallas Cowboys at the LA Chargers. I'm going to go for the total game points over 51. Remember, guys, to please gamble responsibly and only bet what you can afford. Um, and if you've got this final video, please, if you've got anything down below uh, that you'd like to discuss on my selections, is there selections from you guys that um, you really fancy this week? We could have a flutter room. Um, please, please join it down. Um, we'll get back to you as soon as we see the message. But as always, just thanks for tuning in. Um, and I'll see you guys next week to preview week seven of the NFL and to review how one week six gone. So best of luck, guys, on your bets this week. Please, please, once again, gamble responsibly. You know, the bet you can afford. And please let us know what your selections are for the week. Take care, guys. Speak to you soon.